Hello guys, here we go with one more uh, EasyGrass Generator version 1.5. This is pretty much one uh, update with uh, better grass. I make it look like more realistic and I also reorganized the interface and adding a couple things, removing a couple things. I will be showing you here. Okay, right now that's what you get and it came with uh, viewport optimization all on so this means that you don't struggle to render that on your viewport let's change this grass texture to change the texture here so basically the other parameters are still here so you still have your UV control so you can scale up scale down that's how you can control the scale or the tiles of your texture right just like before that's the cooling so if you have the distance cooling on as you have it here right as soon as you put these objects in the distance the grass will start to disappear that's e that's useful for optimization okay i just added these two uh, slots for material that's the grass material and that's the ground material I really recommend you guys to keep this material and just change the texture and that's how I will show you how to do that so this plane that came with the grass applied it came with a ground and grass so it doesn't matter in which of them you change your texture because it will be applied for both you just need to go here inside your texture and you go to your easy grass texture and change your texture here with any texture will be applied automatically for both okay that's how you change quickly your texture on our easy grass and I have been adding this optimization on and off and flowers on and off as well let's just see without the optimization just for you guys to have a better idea okay so you have your full full grass here I add the grounds extra on and off just like before so you have your grounds extra here so it's basically barks and things like that to kind of dirt the grass but now I've added the option for you to control it right I basically organize the on and off uh, options first so you have all your on and off options first and down here just below the remove contact collection you will have uh, all the settings for for the tools that you turn it on and off for example if you go here and you turn it your flowers off you have no flowers anymore turn it on you have your flowers on and then down here you have your flower scale and the amount of your flowers okay the same thing for the grounds extra on and off grounds extra on and then you will go here grounds extra amount now you can control your ground amount extra amount okay that wasn't possible before as well as the, the, the flower scale okay the wildness the same thing you turn it on your wildness so down here you have your wildness intensity and also the wiring wildness scale right I think that's easier for visually you know where you should go quickly so don't keep looking for that okay so you have your distance cooling on and off one thing that I've been added now is the option to control the range of a distance cooling for example if you are distance if you are cooling in here and now so you're cooling in on and off so you look at here to see how to control the cooling and the cooling you would control here on the that's the range of your cooling so you can expand and contract and depending on your scene depending what you want and how the level of optimization your scene requires okay and what else 
This is going on and off the grass scale. I just add a scale for the grass, general scale, so you can go with uh, going up and down with your scale and the density, the resolution of the glass, the grass just as before. And uh, the water level is now still available. But now you can control the level of your water, right? On your terrain. That's very useful because back in the days it wasn't possible. Uh, the previous version wasn't possible to do that. Okay, that's very much it. Uh, the idea of these uh, updates are making easy grass really focus on grass. I removed the, the tools for the painting and all the things that was making some there was uh, kind of giving some problems for people that was trying to add on uh, the grass on the meshes and it wasn't really happening because you have to paint the the vertex uh, the vertex weight and here and then and that wasn't that wasn't that I just figured out that for grass that wasn't the best approach I think that if you focus this one really on the grass it will make your life easier and then you can paint other environments on top of it as you want right but I will focus just on the grass to make uh, the, to make you the guys like utilize the, the tool the best way for do grass right away and don't struggle that much with settings and that are not really relevant for for the task okay that's the point and I will be focused on that for the next updates as well I hope you guys enjoy it see you soon